What's up geeks, nerds, and all that line between? I'm Just a Common Fan back with a new video. Today we're looking at another Funko Pop figure that is a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Now, this was a shared exclusive with GameStop. If you're interested in any of the Funko exclusives from San Diego Comic Con, some um, online retailers and uh, brick and mortar stores actually are sharing their exclusives. So you got some with Box Lunch, Funmation, uh, uh, GameStop, obviously, and others. So, you know, go online, do some research, and if you want them, you can probably find them, possibly, or you might have to go to Third Market on eBay. Um, I told myself when they came out, I only wanted two of the pop figures. I don't need any pop figures. None of us really need any pop figures, but I saw two of them, and I was like, okay, if I can find those two in store, I will pick those up. Well, um, I walked into one GameStop, as you know, with my Mark I uh, video of the Mark I Funko Pop. Just walked into my a random GameStop and found it. And then I walked into another random GameStop and found Red Hood. Now, I know you guys probably think I don't cover enough DC comic stuff on this channel, but I am a huge DC fan. Huge fan of Batman, Joker, Harley Quinn, uh, the Question, um, Booster Gold is one of my favorite DC comic book characters, Vixen, I watch uh, Flash, I watch Arrow, I watch Legends, I've seen all of the crappy DC movies that they've recently released, um, so I am a huge DC fan, but I just don't buy a lot of their merch because I'm just not a huge fan of the merch. But a lot of stuff is getting better, especially the figures that they do they, they debuted at San Diego Comic Con. They look very good. And this is one of my favorite DC characters, and I had to pick it up. Red Hood is one of my favorites, man. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Um, you have the open window display here with the 2018 Summer Convention exclusive sticker on there. You got this awesome artwork of Red Hood. You got this awesome uh, side view of Red Hood as well. And then you've got the other pops that are in the DC Superheroes lineup. As you can see, Red Hood is not in this group because he is a exclusive. Now again, this is a shared exclusive with GameStop, but yet you can, you can no longer find it online. So check online and, and then do the pickup at store option and see if there's any in the stores in your area. Um, these will not be being shipped back out. I don't think there will be a restock of these. So you will probably have to do that or pick them up in the secondary market on eBay. Um, and there's also, I forgot the top here with a little DC logo. So, for those of you who don't know, and this is comic book spoilers, but I mean decades worth of comic book spoilers, but Red Hood, real name, Jason Todd. Jason Todd was the second Robin after Dick Grayson, aka Nightwing. Um, and once uh, Robin went, turned into Nightwing and decided to do his own thing, Batman recruited another troubled youth as he does with uh, Jason Todd. And Jason Todd has always been an interesting uh, figure to me. Um, people in the comic books didn't like him at all because he was just really angsty and like bitter and just, you know, always negative all the time and just like a really sad gothy teenager um and so there was actually a fan poll and dc asked the fans do you want us to keep him alive or do you want him to be murdered and he was murdered and not just in any fashion he was kidnapped i believe his mother also died at the same time too i don't know maybe not his mother was somehow involved in this but he was kidnapped by the joker beaten half to death with a crowbar um and then blown up so DC just didn't kill him off screen. No, they showed him being tortured, brutally beaten by a Joker with a crowbar, and then blown up. Well, a couple of years later, oh god, I love this pop. Oh my gosh, a couple of years later, um, a new vigilante showed up wearing a Batman symbol on their chest and a red mask. The Red Hood uh, nickname has been used in the past by different characters, such as the Joker, for a little bit. Um, and he was a vigilante that would well, I had no problem with killing. And then him and Batman had a big scuffle back and forth. And then lo and behold, uh, takes off the mask and reveals that it is Jason Todd. But this is probably going to be one of my favorite pop figures of all time. Check this out. You see this red head here is why I really want the Stonekeeper. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> excuse me. Well, I really want the Stonekeeper Funko Pop from Infinity War. Um... This is awesome. So here we have Jason Todd out of the box. You have such a clean, and I think that's what I really like in my pop figures, is clean pet 
uh, paint and deco, really, really clean lines. Um, there isn't much sculpting here, but what is there matters. So you have the lines here, sculpts it in, going down to his eye and underneath, and they go all the way down his head here to give him the design of his mask. You have that little bit of black eyeliner and that white paint, which makes it really pop. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Uh, you have this awesome brown leather jacket. Inside here you have this awesome sculpted costume here. You, you can see the Batman symbol, or the Red Hood symbol, I guess you could say, right there in the chest. Uh, he has his pistols because, again, he has no problem with killing. He's kind of changed his stance on that a little bit in the comics as Batman has welcomed him back into the Bat family. Um, and so he'll still use guns, but they'll be like stun bullets or tranquilizers or something like that. But he still kills every so often, but he's kind of calmed down on the murder uh, <laughs> since being a more prominent member of the Bat family. Um, he, he also is the leader of his own team in the comic books, or at least he was. I'm not really keeping up with DC Comics, but Red Hood and the Outlaws. Um, I heard it was pretty good, so you can check that out if you would like. Um, the detailing follows down his suit. See, he has, he has his lines in his suit here that go down to his pants. His boots look great. Uh, there is no texturing underneath the boot as this time. I wish I would have included that, but there is sculpting on the edges of the boots here. Nice silver paint there on the boots. Kind of like a matte paint, not too bright. Actually, it's the same. It's a little bit lighter than the gray that's on the rest of his outfit, which helps it stands out. And then there's also some black paint detailing in here. And you also, they also sculpted his gun holsters, which is really cool. I don't know if you can see that because it's behind the hands, but they sculpted in his uh, gun holsters as well. And then the pistols even have a little bit of sculpting in them as well here. Great plastic molding right there. I mean, oh, this is really cool. And again, I love this just because, uh, number one, gray is one of my favorite colors. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but gray is one of my favorite colors because it's such a vehicle. To, it's such a great vehicle for carrying other colors, such as yellow or red and stuff like that. Um, so when I see this, it just really just pops for me. I love when gray is used and the red pops. And then this is awesome. There is a couple of scuffing, a little bit of scuff marks here on here from the packaging but there is not one piece of paint missing on here at all so that's it guys i want to give you a little sneak peek or all the way peek unboxing of the red hood figure from the comics i hope you guys liked it if so make sure to subscribe comment and like this video down below um i don't know what to say i love this figure so much and what do i know i'm just a common fan hey, no, no, no.